You know how you can tell if a child has been homeschooled? Because of the funny way that they pronounce words. <laughs> they, they haven't been in a classroom of 15, 20, 30 kids, so they don't know how everyone else in the world pronounces something. They probably read a lot, but that doesn't mean that they're hearing the words correctly in their mind. For instance, I have a child that once pronounced a word comfortable. And <laughs> one day they were reading aloud and they said something was very comfortable. Comfortable? What is comfortable? I had to go peek over in the book and see what in the world that word was. It was comfortable. Oh, not comfortable. <laughs> I don't know if your children have ever done something like that, but it's a great opportunity to say, oh, comfortable. That comes from the word comfort. Oh, yes, when we're comfortable, we are filled with comfort. And, and, and of course, there are so many other examples. I mean, have you ever tried to spell the names of the days of the week in the English language? You know, so they're trying to spell Wednesday. What in the world? We don't pronounce it Wednesday. And then it gives you a great opportunity, of course, to talk about all the wonderful pagan gods that we get our names of the weeks from. But it really is a good reminder that words have a meaning. They, we say them so quickly, we talk all the time, but words, they mean something. And when we start to pick them apart into their little roots and their suffixes and their prefixes, and we talk about why in the world is it spelled that way and not this way, that would make more sense. And we talk about, well, maybe it's French. Oh, I don't know, I thought it was Germanic. Oh, maybe it's Latin. <laughs> maybe we have no clue at all and we have to Google it. And we learn so much. The more we do that with our words, the more we analyze them and pick them apart and find out where they came from, the more amazed we are that the great God of all who separated us all from the Tower of Babel and dispersed us all over the world, gave us a common tie together, a common heritage that takes us all the way back to Noah, all the way back to Adam. And we can just have these wonderful conversations with our kids. Conversation. To converse, to talk, to discuss. Hmm, con, to go with. <laughs> See, I could do it all day. So if you hear your kids saying something really crazy and you go, oh my word, I can tell they're a homeschooling kid, take heart. It's just going to give you another thing to talk about, another thing to tie everything back to scripture. Can use the scripture as your primary textbook for everything that you teach.